I, I know I'm not in my office or my study. I'm not even at the place, the lovely house that the church has given me this week where Debbie and I, I'm preaching a revival meeting. That's the Tennessee River back there. The church is not far uh, from the river and we're staying fairly close to, to the river. Big, big tugboat with some barges. Just went up the river a little while. It's pouring rain. I'd be out there by the river. I want to share a book hint. Haven't done one in several days. A book hint. Are y'all ready? A lot of you preachers have told me, I ordered this and I ordered that. Thank God. Keep doing it. Build your library. Here's my quote. What mechanics are, I'm sorry, what tools are to a mechanic, books are to a preacher. I scrambled that up. Could I give it again? What tools are to a mechanic. I've never known a good mechanic. Didn't have lots of tools. Books are to a preacher. Build your library to the glory of God. Now, everybody's going to be familiar with today's author, Warren W. Wiersbe. Dr. Wiersbe is the author of close to a hundred books. He was promoted to glory a couple of years ago. He's in heaven now. But to every pastor, to every Sunday school teacher, to every Bible student, to every young preacher boy, I got a book I want to recommend. It is named, I don't know, because there's a little glare on the book. It looks like, as I look into the cell phone camera, Real Worship. Buy that book. Real Worship. I think it's, Pastor, I think it's one of the best books on worship I personally have ever read. I was so thankful when they reprinted it to make it available to folks yet again in this generation. Can I tell you just a little bit about the book I'm recommending, a book hint? Dr. Wiersbe says he believes, and he proves it from Scripture, that worship falls into three categories. There are three ingredients in worship. Wonder. He says, don't ever get over the wonder that he saved you. Don't ever get over the wonder of Calvary. Wonder. Witness. When we worship God, He wants us to go out then and witness. Worship prepares us for service. Wonder, witness, this one's going to surprise you, and warfare. Every time in the book of Revelation they got to worshiping, the devil hit. Warfare came. And when we worship, we just well prepare ourselves for battle. The three ingredients in real worship. Wonder, witness, and warfare. It's worth getting the book and reading it for that alone. And then to every preacher. Now, Sunday school teachers, I'm not leaving you out. Bible students, and you either. And anybody else that might tune into the uh, book, you're just interested in building uh, some Christian books, a godly library. Um. Uh, there is a chapter, there is a chapter in which, in which I'm looking for the exact chapter and just as sure as I, this is a, a, a different, uh, here's his chapter and I'm not getting it word for word, but preachers, I'm worship, learning to worship as you preach God's word. Learning to worship as you preach God's word. I think exactly preaching, preaching as an act of worship. Oh, the devil's just giving me fits right now. Keep on. Preaching as an act of worship. You ever think of that? Oh, I know we worship when we sing Amazing Grace. I know we worship when we put our money in the offering plate. I, I I know wor we worship when we're out there handing out Bible school flyers or gospel tracts, but preaching as an act of worship. Dr. Wiersbe says, and I don't know if it's in this book or if it's in his biography, I had the honor of reading. He said, every Saturday night before I preach, he was a pastor for many years. He said, I take my, I take my notes, I take my outline. And on my knees in my study, I say, Lord, now I've prepared 
I've worked hard. I've tried to learn the vocabulary. I've tried to see how the Holy Ghost is developing the path. But Lord, I want to take my notes. Lord, I want to take my thoughts. Watch what I'm doing. And I want to lift them up to you. And Lord, I'm worshiping you with this sermon. I'm worshiping you with this bread. I'm going to feed my people. Lord, I want to worship you with this message before I ever step in the pulpit. Many a time when I'm preaching, doesn't happen a lot, but it has happened before. And the congregation gets real quiet. I can't get the amens I need. Or it looks like folks have gotten a little bored. Or, or I might even see somebody about to nod off to sleep. Doesn't bother me anymore. Because I just oh, I keep preaching to those that are listening. But I lift my eyes. I lift my sight a little higher. And as I preach, I start thinking and saying, Lord, I'm worshiping you. Lord, I'm preaching this sermon. But most of all, I want your approval. I want your smile. God, you're the one that called me to preach. And God, I, I just want to do everything to uh, bring glory to your name. You get to preaching as an act of worship. It'll transform. It'll transform. You mark it down. It'll transform your ministry. Dr. Warren Wiersbe, real worship. Well worth purchasing and adding to your library. A book hint on a rainy day by the Tennessee River. Glory to God. Paul said, uh, when you come, I need my books, especially the parchments. That's the word of God. I need, my, I need my scriptures, but I need those books also. Readers indeed. Readers are leaders. Another book hint from Brother Bagwell.